What the new CNN boss has planned for Chris Como's old time slot. So CNN's new boss is not ready to fill Chris Como's old prime time slot just yet. Chris Litt, who this week replaced scandotard Jeff Zucker as CEO, told employees at a town hall meeting Thursday that he is shooting to have a new show ready in the 9 p.m. hour this fall after experimenting with the slot, according to a report. Let's try some things at 9 o'clock, Litt said, according to a recording of the meeting reviewed by the New York Times. Let's have some fun with it. Let's just try some things. But my intention is to have a show ready to launch in the fall at 9 o'clock. Como who previously held that slot, was fired by CNN last year after a probe into his efforts to aid his embattled older brother, former Governor Andrew Cuomo, respond to allegations of sexual misconduct. Thursday's town hall meeting, which lasted more than an hour, was the first time Litt spoke to CNN employees since he took over as chairman of CNN this week, the report said. Litt last addressed staff at the end of April when he shut down CNN Plus, the network's costly, one-month-old, not even, (laughs) streaming service. So CNN rep declined to comment, and during the town hall, Lit was interviewed by Aaron Burnett, host of CNN's Aaron Burnett Out Front, which airs weekdays at 7 p.m., the report said. Lit, a former executive producer at The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Colbert, CBS This Morning, and Morning Joe, was asked about his approach to CNN's morning programming, which includes Newsday and Early Start. He told Burnett that he thought the network's morning show could be a disruptive force and added that he would work with CNN executive producer Eric Hall to figure out the future of its early lineup. Once I find out where the bathrooms are, one of the things I'm really looking forward to is sitting down with him and his team and figuring out what can this show be, he said. Lay also said he helped Chris Wallace, the former Fox News Sunday anchor who hosted a show on CNN Plus, would remain at the network. Calling Wallace a tremendous talent, Lit noted that the anchor was working on a podcast in a show with the former NPR host Audie Cornish, who also hosted his show on CNN+. Wallace has been buzzed about a potential replacement for Como by industry sources, but Lit has remained tight-lipped on his plans. The website, Puck recently reported that CNN is planning to keep Wallace at the network and is moving his show onto the HBO Max streaming service, which is owned by CNN parent Warner Bros. Discovery. The last few months have been a volatile time for CNN. The network's longtime president, Jeff Zucker, resigned in February after failing to disclose a romantic, whoopee relationship with CNN's executive vice president and chief marketing officer, Alison Gillust. Zucker's shocking exit occurred ahead of a pending merger between Warner Media and Discovery and raised fresh concerns about CNN's outlook. During the meeting, Litt responded to a question about potential layoffs, adding that he did not plan to make large cuts to the employee ranks at CNN. This is an organization that has had gut punch after gut punch after gut punch, Litt said, and most of the organizations out there wouldn't have survived. Litt said that he has had conversations with Zucker about how CNN employees don't leak, adding that he thought that the network had gone away from that a little bit amid a flurry of reports in the aftermath of Zucker's departure and CNN Plus's demise. So let's actually check out some of the comment section. Doesn't matter, is going to fail miserably, CNN is done. Candace Owens, Candace Owens and Ben Shapiro would help the ratings. Jesse Smollett isn't busy, he'd be perfect for CNN. That's kind of funny. File under who cares? Trump at nine, insane ratings through the roof. That would actually be funny if they actually put Trump on CNN. How is old Fredo these days? This is funny. 
Any lying lib will do, I'm sure. Interesting. Very interesting. Feel free to give your thoughts. If you want to learn how to get a debt and master your money, go to 40inbox.com.